Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about heart failure, the signs and symptoms. Heart failure is when the cardiac output is inadequate for the body's requirements. It can be classified in a variety of ways. I like to think of it as either left ventricular failure, right ventricular failure, or when both occur together, congestive cardiac failure. The main cause of heart failure is ischemic heart disease. Other causes include cardiomyopathy, which can be dilated, hypertrophic or restrictive, then valvular heart disease, congenital heart disease, alcohol and there are others. Of note, some specific causes to right heart failure are pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary embolism, core pulmonale and COPD. The signs and symptoms of left ventricular failure are largely the result of, pul of pulmonary congestion. There can be dyspnea, tachypnea and tachycardia. There can be a third heart sound, the result of rapid filling of the ventricles. In severe failure, dilatation of the mitral annulus results in functional mitral regurgitation and so you will hear the associated murmur, a pansystolic murmur. Here I have made, I've made a diagram to help illustrate what might be seen on the chest x-ray of a patient with left ventricular failure. To help remember what to look out for, A, B, C, D and E. A for alveolar edema, which will look like bats, bats wings surrounding the heart. B for curly B lines. C for cardiomegaly. D for dilated prominent upper lobe vessels. And E for pleural effusions. It is important to understand the role of the normal heart so that the signs and symptoms make sense and are easy to remember when one side of the heart, when one side of the heart fails. So, normally, deoxygenated blood returning from the body enters the right side of the, right side of the heart where the great reins into the right atrium. The blood is then pumped from the right atrium to the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps this blood to the lungs. The oxygenated blood then returns from the lungs to the left side of the heart, where the pulmonary vein to the left atrium. The left atrium pumps the blood to the left ventricle. And then, from here the blood is pumped to the body via the aorta. In left ventricular failure, the left ventricle fails to pump blood around the body, as the symptoms of that predominantly of pulmonary congestion. I remember this by picturing my mind if the left ventricle is unable to pump blood around the body, it backs up, and this will be back into the lungs. This would explain the predominant symptom being dyspnea, and on examination you hear crackles on the lungs, the fluid in the lungs. In right ventricular failure, there's pitting edema over the ankles and calves in ambulant patients and over the sacrum in bedbound patients. Like I remember what left ventricular failure causes, I do the same with right ventricular failure. As seen in the earlier diagram, the right side of the heart receives blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs. If the right ventricle fails, then it's unable to pump. So think of the fluid backing up into the peripheral body, giving the edema, enlarging the liver and jugular vein. Thank you. I hope that was useful to understand the signs and symptoms of left and right heart failure.